So today I'm going to show you how to put together your 4x4 Rubik's Cube. Um, here are my centers. Um, I like to organize them because it makes it go a lot faster because it would take forever if you did it. Here these can be either next to these pieces or on the edges. And these are edges too, or corners, whatever. And here's your center. So. Alright, so before we start, uh, we're going to go ahead and start with blue. So, see there's a little ridge, I don't know if you can see it right there. Um, I say that for last because it will help with the um, end. And make sure your pieces are aligned like this where they sit together. Because if it's like this, you can tell it's not right. So, make sure they're aligned. And they do rotate, you know, you can turn it as long as you're holding the pieces. So, and you can come from the bottom too, that helps a lot. So, and if your piece won't fit, you might have to actually slide it over to the other side. So, uh, see, and sometimes they fall because you don't hold it, but whatever. So what you're going to do now is just flip it over where all these are on the bottom. Um, Alright, so I'll go ahead and start with my uh, blue and red piece. These two pieces. Um, in here there's a little ridge. You can just uh, set your pieces on. So I'm going to go like this. Um, of course my blue will be on the bottom because that's the color of it. So what you're going to do is you're going to put these together. Um, another important thing is you can see that the two pieces are out from each other. You need to flip them and put them together. And make like a kind of a half circle, circle looking thing. So you do that and then what I'm going to do is turn it to the all the way to the other side. And I'm going to go ahead and put my blue and orange pieces in because that's what match. And so line them up just like that. Sit them on the edge, you know, just lightly set them in there. Now I'm going to do my side piece. which will be yellow and blue. Oh uh, yeah. So, if you don't know what pieces go where, you can take your little piece with, there we go, three sides. And so I would know that blue's on the bottom, yellow and it goes with yellow and red. So that means I'm gonna put it right here. Oh, wrong way. And you have to make sure these are all in the right spot. If you're gonna trick someone that knows how to solve it, you can flip one piece and they will never be able to solve it. So if I just flip this like this, they won't be able to solve it once it's all put together. So so you go ahead and do that. Now I need my piece to put right here. It's going to be the three-sided, just like this. And this is the easy, easy part. Um, as my, you can see my yellow is on the wrong side. So I just go to the other side. Make sure you hold your pieces in. Flip them in. And and so far I've got one corner. So now I need my orange, blue, and yellow piece, which is right here. Yeah, there you go, you can see it now. I uh, just go ahead and set that right in there. And the tip right here, the triangle part will be pointing down into the thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it. Get my last blue piece, which is blue and white. Make sure they're aligned. Sit that right in there. Oop. 
and as you can tell if you don't hold it, it will come apart. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and go with the blue, orange, and white, which is going to sit in right here. Another blue piece, uh, blue, red, white, and blue. It's going to sit about right like that. There we go. Alrighty. And that's the first layer, so you can see that. Alright. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have, as you... Well, we're going to put two of the uh, the white centers. I'm going to put two of them down here. So, here we go. Just going to take them and slide them down. And make sure it sits right. Because remember from the first layer, if it's turned, it won't work. Alright, so... Take another piece and set it in. Sometimes, what happened with this piece is when it first fell apart, I just tried to pop them back in, but it was all scrambled, so I couldn't. And I had to super glue it. And it's kind of separated. I don't know if you can see it. Like that. It's separated. You can see a little bit right there. It makes it real tight, which I actually think helps my cube, but I don't recommend. See, you can see how hard it is to get it just in there. Um, so I'll trade the other piece to get it in. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and all right. So my pieces keep popping out. I haven't done this in a while, so I'm a little rusty at it. Now I need my two oranges. See like this. See? Now is when I use the only two sided. And I know I'm going to need white and orange. And uh, there's a trick to this. Let me see if it's right if I do this. Okay. If. You see that? Okay. If this piece is like the dip is facing down, like kind of like at an angle, it's the wrong piece. So I need to use this one where the dip is facing like up. Because I don't know, for some reason it fits like that. It's kind of weird. Okay, now this part's different than before. You're going to take your white and red piece that is like this. And my dip is facing up. Actually, it's facing down. Yeah, it's facing up. And you put it in first sometimes. It'll work easier. I don't know if it's going to today. I might I have the wrong piece. Oh. And you got to make sure you hold them to turn it. Go ahead and put your two white pieces in. Like, or your red pieces, actually, sorry. And make sure they fit. And go ahead and put your two pieces in. And after a while, it does get a little disorganized because you're moving all these pieces around. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do this with just putting my two centers in, like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and set my pieces in, just like that. Actually, that's the wrong one. Yeah, so if the dip is facing kind of like in an up angle, I don't know, that's really close. If you can see it, yeah, if you can't, if it's facing like this, it's right. But if it's like this, I guess, yeah, yeah, it's wrong. So, because it'd be like facing, it looks like it's the same way, but it's not because your two pieces are different, facing different ways. So, we're going to go ahead and slide this in. They just sit right in there. Now, this last one can be a little tricky, but it's okay. It may seem like it doesn't fit for a minute. Hold your pieces in. Alright, so 
I will post a video response of the second one of the last two letters. So, thanks.